Hey there! Welcome to the first video for what I like to call Freddy Month. Because every month has an Elm Street. Oh, at least this month has an Elm Street. Anyway, um, I've been wanting to do more Nightmare on Elm Street related stuff for a while now. I The last thing I did when it comes to Nightmare on Elm Street where I gave my thoughts on it was in a podcast style... Uh, format with my friend Matt, Rabbit Rat for Life, and we all, and I think I did it also with uh, Efri, another friend of mine, and we all talked about the Nightmare on Elm Street films, and I haven't really reviewed the franchise, the only movie I reviewed is the first film, which I just did recently, so I thought, and I'm still going to be doing the Wes Craven reviews, trust me, that's still happening too, I'm just doing double duty, I'm finishing up the Wes Craven filmography, and I'm also reviewing the Nightmare on Elm Street films, as you know including new nightmare and doing a few other sort of fun stuff like doing a quick little playthrough as far as i can on the crappy nintendo game going uh, uh listening doing a live listen of the really notoriously awful freddy album because he did make an album where i think he rapped and i do a live i'm gonna play the music and i'm gonna give you you're gonna see my live reactions to these awful songs uh a list of my favorite Freddy kills. A list of my, uh, a list of what I consider to be my favorite Nightmare on Elm Street films, and what I consider to be my least favorite. Uh, of course, I'm gonna remake. I'm, I'm gonna review the remake. See, see remake. I, I already have that in my mind. This stupid Nightmare on Elm Street remake. Um, so I'm gonna do a lot of that stuff. So I'm gonna go all out. I'm even gonna do give my thoughts on Freddy's Nightmares, the the whole little horror anthology show that that was related to Freddy and so yeah so it's it's the month of Freddy and because he's my favorite horror icon and I just wanted to finally uh, get every you know review everything that I can about Nightmare on Elm Street and, and also uh, show you guys a few things that I have Nightmare on Elm Street related and I thought hey for a quick short first little video to start off the month uh, why not start off with something you really don't see a lot of people make videos about. You see people make videos about all kinds of other Freddy merchandise, but how many people make videos about Freddy books? So, uh, I don't have all of the Nightmare on Elm Street books. Uh, there are other ones. I know there's like spin-offs. that are like sort of like young adult Nightmare on Elm Street books, and there's like picture books and stuff that are like little tiny novelizations of the, of, of the first five films, I believe. And I don't have Freddy vs. Jason, the novelization. But I do have a a handful of Nightmare on Elm Street related books and the first one I'm going to start with is Nightmare the Nightmares on Elm Street which is uh, this has uh, parts one two and three adapted uh, there's another book that's made by St. Martin's Press as well that just has a bunch of Freddy stories that I saw before at a bookstore but I didn't get it and eventually if I do see that book like I probably will get it because it's just a, basically it's a horror anthology, but with Freddy. Um, these are based on the screenplays of uh, by Wes Craven, and David Chaskin, Wes Craven, and Bruce Wagner for the first two, three, for the first three films. It also has a special bonus chapter called the Left, the Life and Death of Freddy Krueger. If I can fucking pronounce things correctly, and if you hear any outside noises or anything like that, if you hear like, I'm just letting you know because I. There's been some craziness going on in my house. We're having floors ripped up because my my uh, fridge leaked. So what really what what happened was the the ice maker leaked, and then we have having all kinds of problems. We have like a fan going, two industrial fans blowing, a humidifier going on in the kitchen, the plastic bags. It's craziness. It's 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 insane. Uh, so if you hear anything like that, like in your ear, earbuds or whatever, and you're wondering what that is, it's it's all this fan craziness going on in, in the kitchen. But anyway, um, this book was released around the time of Nightmare on Elm Street Part 3. And um, so it's set up in parts. So you have a novelization of the first film. Which I think is one of the longest ones, if I remember correctly, is the first film novelization. No, actually, yeah, it's pretty long. Uh, 
Yeah, not really. It's about 72 pages. The novelization of the first film. So, it's, these aren't, like, really in-depth novelization. These are really, like, condensed down. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Uh, that one only lasts for about the same amount of paid chapters, really, to be honest. Actually, that one's a little bit longer, I think. And then... Dream Warriors is the last one. And Dream Warriors is completely different than the film that we're that you're familiar with. Dream Warriors is based on an early draft of the screenplay, and it's really bad to be honest. So it's a good the good thing that they updated it because this is a really terrible this is a terrible version of Dream Warriors. Uh, anyway, so this is the front. Yeah, it's it's a little bent up, but. I, this is how I got it, and I got this for good price online a long time ago, so I'm not going to complain. These books aren't easy to find for cheap lately. So, then this is the back with Freddy. You see Freddy right there. And then it also has uh, black and white photos. So, there's a photo. Here's a photo from, uh, you know, Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2, Freddy's Revenge. Some more photos. Or Nightmare on Elm Street photos here. These are from the first film. One of them is even a behind. Yeah, no, it's not a behind-the-scenes photo. These are all pretty much press photos, probably. I'm your boyfriend now, Nancy. <laughs> then there's a Freddy. That's a shot. I don't know what film that's a shot from. I think it's part two. There's Jesse. Not saying anything because I really don't need to say much. I'm just showing you guys pictures. Freddy. The man of our dreams. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's uh, N Nightmares on Elm Street, uh, parts 1, 2, and 3. I mean, I might crack this open and read it again, and then maybe do a more in-depth video, maybe book review on this. Uh, but only if you guys are interested. If you guys are interested in my thoughts on this book, uh, let me know in the comments below, because I, I will gladly read it again, and then do a little review and talk about, uh, this book, but, um, if not, I, 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 I have a lot of other stuff to do, so, but anyway, um, yeah, so that's the first novelization. This is the first one I got, is this one, The Nightmares on Elm Street, which, which is about, uh, parts four and five. Yes, this book is pretty beat up, but I found this at Goodwill. It was an insanely good find then, and I still haven't seen this anywhere since. And, you know, it was a good read, and a lot, these, these are more close to the actual films, Part 4 and 5, The Nightmares on Elm Street, this one. Um, Joseph Locke, who uh, wrote all of them, and Jeffrey Cooper also wrote all of, all of the ones on this one as well. Um... But this one, of course, has more pictures again, just like the other one does. More black and white photos. It's Freddy on the Beach. It's also released by St. Martin's Press. Some of these are photos from the Dream, from, you know, the, the third film, Dream Warriors. <laughs> There's it from part four. Freddy being like, you want to suck face? <laughs> the food don't kill you. The service will. <laughs> Freddy eating his soul food. That sequence where she turns and Debbie turns into a cockroach. No pain, no gain. It's always intense. 
always freaks me out. Great makeup effects by John Carl Butcher. Of course, the body of soul stuff that Steve Johnson did. And there's Freddy. He may be gone now, but Freddy will return. So that's uh, that's uh, the nightmares on Elm Street. There was no novelization for Freddy's Dead, but there was a novelization for New Nightmare. And this is a great book. I highly recommend this. To not only fran fans of the franchise or fans of Freddy, but fans of horror books in general. Now, this is a very interesting, engrossing read because this is a book that actually puts. It, the book itself is also meta. Which, how often do you read a book, a novelization of a film that's really meta, that's also meta? You really don't ever really read something like that. So this has, like, articles and, like, from the point of view, the guy writing it, you know. So the guy, like, David Bergantino, who's writing it, and he puts in, like, from the, you know, stuff like from the journal of David Bergantino. So it's not just a novelization. It's, it's... It's also from the point of view of David Bergantino, like as if he's a part of this world that is being described in this film. So it's a very interesting, fun read because it's much like the film itself. And it, it is, it's great. And this is another one I found at Goodwill of all places. Surprise, surprise. I did, yeah, it was a shocker. And then you have uh, pictures, of course. There's Freddy. There's Wes. Rest in peace, Wes. I miss you already. More pictures. I think the same place of Goodwill I found this. I also found the novelizations for Child's Play 2 and 3. It was a great horror novelization day. And these were good prices too. It was like two bucks each. So it was a great deal. Especially for novel horror novelizations. These are getting to be pretty hard to find, to be honest. These for cheap. Then you have that scene that was cut, the one with the multiple Fridays. The actual picture there that shows you actually they actually shot it. It's in the trailer as well. Once again, like with uh, with the first, uh, you know, if you want me to review this book, I, I will be willing to do that, and I will also be willing to review this as well, and review this this one, this uh, novelization uh, of New Nightmare. But I kind of already briefly did that, but it's just not super in depth. So only if you guys are are, wa are wanting to hear my thoughts on it. But yeah, I was, I'd like just articles and stuff. Well, they're not necessarily real articles, but they are the, the line between fiction and reality gets blurred while you're reading the novelization, which is really clever. One of the most clever and most unique novelizations I think I've ever read. Then I have this book, which I had another version of this, which I ended up replacing because it was not in the best of shape and I sold it. Uh, this one cost a pretty penny and this book is and rare. This book is hard to find in good condition and for cheap. And it wasn't cheap when I got this off eBay, but I wanted to get it because I'm a huge fan of Freddy, huge fan of Nightmare on Elm Street, and this is one book that a lot of Nightmare on Elm Street fans, if you don't have already, you gotta have. Because it's got, it talks about all the films pretty in depth. I'm, I'm definitely going to start reading this because I didn't really even start reading it to be honest. It goes all the way up to Freddy's Dead and it's got some amazing photographs and everything and it's yeah I mean you got like Freddy right there behind the scenes stuff um, full color photographs Black and white stuff, of course, from the behind the scenes. 
That's a really pretty extensive book. I mean, it's 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 a Nightmare on Elm Street fans' dream come true. Really, it's a great book. Now the uh, they don't go like of course super 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 in depth on a lot of the films, but there's a good amount of information about them, and it's worth it alone for the photos, and um, which are great great photos really some really good photos, and um, yeah. I mean, there could be, I, I would be totally fine if they did like a re-release type thing like this. They did it like for uh, uh, Crystal Lake Memories. Do one for Diamond Elm Street. And they kind of did, and I have one, which I'm going to show you as well. But it's only for the first film. It's not for all the all the films like Crystal Lake Memories was. So that's why I wish we could have something like that for all the films. And this is the closest that we have to something like that, an out-of-print uh, book paperback which these are hard to find in good shape because a lot of people really loved them and wore, wore them out really well and also it's a paperback paperbacks if you don't keep them in good shape they don't last very long pages start falling out and all kinds of stuff so but yeah And there's another Freddy book too that I wouldn't mind getting. That is by that's that's the one by St. Martin's Press. This is by Citadel. So this is a completely different publishing company than the ones who released the novels the the first two novelizations. Or first five really. So yeah, it's mostly a lot of pictures. And so, but it's still really cool. I mean, as a fan of Nightmare on Elm Street, I mean, fan of Freddy, I mean, this is this is some really awesome stuff. Um, plus, this book isn't going to be available. You're not going to find. You might be able to find scans of this somewhere, but it's not the same. I mean, having scans is not the same as having the actual book in your hand and flipping through it and looking at it and. Just appreciating it for you know, just actually be able to physically hold it is a big difference versus you know, just a bunch of scans. Sorry about the glare, I was just. I can't really do much about that at the moment. Freddy with the skateboard. <laughs> Dream child. Not the best one. My least favorite. Not of the ones with Robert England, I mean. I'd rather watch the Dream Child over the remake. I do like that bike kill though. Speed kills. <laughs> Wonder how they got all these photos. Some of these are like some of them look like just candid on set photos that like the crew, cast and crew took just to, for shits and giggles. For some reason, Freddy's dead. And they have a body count. Page for Freddy body count. video game. Wow, great graphics. <laughs> now we're playing with power. <laughs> I like Freddy's Dead. 
I've always liked Freddy's the Dead. Kids. <laughs> Then there's a little uh, talk with Wes Craven. Little photos of Doug of the stop motion of the the skeleton from Dream Warriors. Pretty cool. Then they talk with Robert England about playing Freddy. Okay, that's cool. Well, that's nice. Well, the body of souls there. Show you how they did the You've got the body. I've got the brains. Then they talk with Robert Shea. Producer. Picture of the Freddy snake. It's about over 200 pages the book. Majority of it is photos, really. But there's some really good photos. A map of screams of Springwood. <laughs> and there we go. That's The Nightmare Never Ends, the official history of Freddy Krueger and the Nightmare on Elm Street films. Yeah, there's another one that I think is just about, like, the first, I think it's about the first three. The first five, or maybe the first four, but it's not as, as, uh, I've heard it's not as good as this. So I, I definitely do really, that's one of my favorite horror books, I really like that. This is basically mostly a lot of pictures, but it's a good coffee table book, so to speak. Just like this book. Never Sleep Again, Elm Street Legacy. The Making of Wes Craven's and Nightmare on Elm Street by Tommy Tommy uh, by uh, Tommy Hudson. Forward by Wes Craven. This is a book that I actually uh, this is a Kickstarter campaign, and I supported it and I got myself a copy of this. Uh, which is a good companion piece for my uh, book on uh, you know the Friday the 13th films this is really it, it almost it starts out as an introduction on Wes on Wes Craven's uh, uh, filmography really but for leading up to Nightmare on Elm Street. There's even pages about Swamp Thing and Hills of Ice Part 2 and Invitation to Hell and all that, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, there's a lot. I'm, I'm going to save stuff like you have. Here's the David Miller costume tests. I'm going to I'm going to save some more more stuff for a, a separate video because I'm actually planning on actually going in pretty in depth on the, on this book because this is a really really good you know this is definitely a coffee table book they did a great job putting this book together and uh, so yeah but yeah it's pretty much only on the first film I mean, there's a few things, I think, I believe. That's a cool piece of artwork right here. Freddy there. Um, yeah, I believe it's only on the first film. But that's cool. I mean, that's awesome. I love the first movie. One of my favorites for the franchise. So it's not like I really have a problem with that. Um... But 
the score, marketing and the release of the film. Uh, I guess there was a Nightmare on Elm Street wrap cake. Which is pretty cool. I wonder, I wonder what flavor it was. Show you different posters. They talk about a little bit of the merchandise right here. A little bit with the Freddy the Greatest Hits Elm Street group, which I'm going to be listening to that. Show you the posters for the sequels. They don't talk about them. And then that's really about it. And then you have this giant cast photo of the cast and crew for the original Nightmare on Elm Street. Then an afterword by Heather Langenkamp. And acknowledgments. I guess you only got your name in the back if you supported, like, a, a, you didn't just buy the book. But, uh, good book. Never Sleep Again, The Elm Street Legacy, Making a Voice Craven's Nightmare on Elm Street. So anyway, uh... I don't know if this is for sale from these guys anymore. You might have to, if you want this, you might have to end up getting it on eBay or something and it may pay a ridiculous price. I don't know what's going on, but that, it's really too bad. I mean, Crystal Lake Memories was available in stores for the most part. I don't think Never Sleep Again is available in stores. Um, but anyway, that's my uh, video on uh, my... Nightmare on Elm Street Freddy books. I have a magazine for Freddy's Dead, but it's buried somewhere. And I'll find it. I'll find it for my uh, review of Freddy's Dead, and then I'll, I'll show it to you guys then. Um, but um, yeah, that's all the Freddy books I got. Uh, I'd like to get some more, but I really, like I said, I really wish Never Sleep Again is nice. I like this book, but. I, I want to see another book with, that talks in depth about all of the films, not just the first movie. Nightmare Never Ends is as close as we've got, and it just is very brief. But anyway, um, not complaining. I, I have them. They're not easy to find, and, and neither are, are these novelizations, which are, I'm definitely glad to have as well. So, um, but anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and stay tuned for more Freddy and more Wes Craven, and I hope you guys are having a good good uh, horror month so far, or just a good month in general. And uh, until next time, I will see you guys later. See ya.